everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be addressing the elephant in the room. The elephant being, yes, I am wearing Mickey Mouse slippers. <laughs> oh, the other elephant in the room? All these giant boxes behind me? Oh yeah, we'll get into that too. I am addicted to return boxes. I think it's a personal goal to try every single different variation of return boxes that are sold. And are you with me? Are you gonna experience this with me? So like I was saying, we have done quite a few return box videos and we are not gonna stop until you are super bored of it. So let me know when that happens. But today we are unboxing returned bedding. Yeah. I am so excited. When I saw this box on Restock Canada, I was like, I shouldn't, I really shouldn't. What's the point, what's the point? I should, actually, yes, I should. I actually have a hope too, to take something from these boxes and make a dress out of them because I watch so many videos of people turning sheets into dresses and what better way to make that even more fun, but a return sheet into bedding. Let me know if you wanna see that. Let me quickly go on to my order history and see if I can pull up some details. Okay, so here is the return box that I bought. 44 units of bedding, estimated retail would be $1,839. I got it for $367, so that's $8.34 per unit, which if I rolled up to a store and there was a duvet cover for $8, I would be like, steal. Steal of a deal. And based on these photos, I mean, it's looking pretty good. Here we have a gray comforter, a full-on comforter set, a three-piece quilt set. I think that's a duvet cover, or no, that's a pillow. And then some blankets down here and tons of boxes. I mean, they only actually showed four boxes here, but as you can see behind me, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes and Chip is scratching the door. Come on in, you're more than welcome. Don't ever think you can't come in. Hello everyone. He said, I like a new blanket actually. I think I want a new blanket if you don't mind finding me one. We will. So we've got a little bit of a condition brief. Returns. Return products were bought by a consumer then returned to a retailer. Those returns are untested and exact condition is unknown. You can estimate approximate 20% of defective value after testing, fixing, cosmetic correction, and mix and match. Reasons for return can be consumer changed their mind, gift return, online failed delivery, box damage, defective product, physically broken, and more. And then they get into the information here. So this gives us some of the prices, which by the way, there is a memory foam double mattress in here, which is estimated 200, where is that? A double memory foam mattress, okay. I don't actually know what this is gonna be, but it was $129. So we've got some high ticket items and then some lower ticket items. You know, the cheapest thing in here is a blue whale pillow for $4.97. So we actually, with that in mind, paid more for that one. So yeah, as always, return boxes are mixed bags of goods. I'm gonna call my mom up here to help me. I think we'll start out by opening everything up organizing it and then I actually have the guest room set up so we can put the bedding onto a bed and see how it looks because I feel like holding it up and looking at it we might not see the problems like maybe there's some stains or something we'll figure it out we're gonna dive through everything in these boxes let's do it okay this angle will give you a better look at my slippers Honestly, I am obsessed with these, but I will stop talking about them. This gives you a better idea of the sheer mass of things we have. I honestly feel like it isn't that much stuff, like it's 44 things, but I feel like because it's bedding, it's hard to squish down. Like truly in one of these boxes could be one comforter set. Mommy? Mommy? Ma? Where are you? Ma! Come on in. Okay. Oh my gosh. Why are you so dressed up? <laughs> I have no idea. Work. But I was cold. So I found these leggings and I'm like, these actually fit me. And then I realized they were your maternity leggings. <laughs> my mom has chosen to dress up for today's video. Very beautiful, very magical. Let's start with box number one. Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my gosh. Wow. A comforter 
set. Beautiful. Comforter. Oh, that one's like a strange fabric. This is what I thought we would be getting when we said returned bedding. It's just basically loose sheets. <laughs> loose sheets duct taped together. Oh gosh. Oh, this is like a protective sheet. Ooh, oh god. These are great! Heated throw blankets! I do love them. And look at $59.97. So our price was like $8.46. Oh, there's two? These actually look decent. Those do look nice. I wonder what size they are. Look at this though. A body pillow. Nice! Quilt set. Sheet, sheet, sheet. Oh wow. Sheet. Scared of that white sheet, are you seeing that? Yeah, something's on it. Okay, I can't tell if that's a stain from the return or if that's a stain from being in this box. Do you see that? The lighting's not allowing you to see it. You'll see it later. Yeah, a body pillow bay, uh, slip cover. Hashtag happy place. <laughs> and it fits that big body pillow. How great is that? Honestly, not that great. <laughs> All right, let us see. What is this, the fourth box? It is. Oh my gosh, I think there's only one thing in this box. Look, it's just like a giant duvet. Oh my gosh, this is for a different video. Don't look at that. <laughs> Ooh, oh my gosh. This could make a cute dress. Okay, we've got mattress protector, fitted sheet, 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. pillowcase, duvet. Oh. foam double thingy for $200. This is definitely that. This is the memory foam thing. Oh. Ooh, a pretty blue. Mm -hmm. Pretty blue moment. What is this? What is that? Oh, it's like a little, oh, it's a cute so little. Cute. Oh, hold on a minute. We've got oh. frozen blanket. Why would this be returned? I wonder. Your kid was acting up. Yeah, it's Lost like no blanket. No Ilsa today, bitch. Ilsa? Hang on a sec, that doesn't <laughs> What is her name? You were literally just in Disneyland and you don't know. What was it? The Frozen Girl. It's not Ilsa, it's Il Elsa. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh! oh no. Oh my gosh! Is it's, it all heated blankets? It's all heated blankets. This Does that mean we have to test them? <laughs> they must be a restock item. People don't want heated blankets right now, I guess. <laughs> well. That was not what I was expecting on that one. <laughs> Here is what it's looking like after we ripped through everything. Now we must organize this mess. <laughs> Okay, everything is organized into piles. Always when you open a return box, it all looks like a mess and then you organize it and it starts to look a lot better. So we're at that stage. The rain cloud has lifted. I'm feeling better about it. So the first grouping we have is foam mattresses. There's only one thing in here, which is this giant, most expensive item was like $200 of memory foam for a double bed. Then we have the grouping of heated blankets, which includes 11 of the same heated blanket. This was definitely not a customer return. I have a very strong feeling that this was a restock item, like it was like overstock, followed shortly by three comforters. You're gonna see a lot of gray. Okay, I know that people love gray bedding. I personally don't. I would go green before I go gray. Then we have mattress protectors and also one crib protector. I do not blame anyone who returns these because I've had a mattress protector and I don't know if I'm just the princess and the pea, but I swear I can feel the mattress protector through my sheet and I can like hear it. I don't know, maybe I'm just too particular, but I understand if you've returned a mattress protector. <laughs> and then the grouping that I'm arguably most excited for, these are the comforter sets that include like three to five pieces. It's like the comforter, a few throw pillows. It just is like the most show-stopping, <laughs> show-stopping. I don't think 
they're gonna be show stopping. But like, these are the pieces I was most excited about. It's like, you buy this one singular piece and then your bed looks great, cause it has everything. And then we have a mountain of sheets, whether it's a fitted sheet, a loose sheet, or a set of fitted and loose sheet, there are a lot of them. And yes, there is a very, very big group of blue sheets here and one tie-dye looking sheet, which is grabbing my attention for the dress option. And a tiny, tiny group, including one fleece blanket. This grouping, I really didn't think there was gonna need to be, but there was actually two blankets as clothing. So that's a group. Then we have pillows followed shortly by pillowcases. And yes, this purple thing that you probably know what it is is a pillowcase, which I'm excited to dive into because it's eye-catching. Okay, so that is everything that was in all of these boxes. Now we're going to strip the bedding off the guest bed and we are going to put some stuff on and see if it's defective, maybe it's got stains, maybe it's spilt on, or if it's just all around really good products. And as we're testing things, we're also going to be organizing it because everything you see in this video, aside from maybe a few things that I grab, will be donated. I'll probably keep like a few sheets to turn into dresses or shirts, but everything else will be donated. And honestly, bedding is in such high demand at homeless shelters. So this is going to be a win-win situation. Hopefully you'll be entertained, I'm having fun, and then we can donate everything. So let's go see everything on bed. Usually I say on bod, but this is on bed. Let's go. Okay, well, it's actually a day later. Yesterday, my wedding dress got delivered and it was emotional and insane. <laughs> and honestly, after trying it on, I was so exhausted that I could not complete putting a million sheets on this bed. But I'm here today and I'm ready to go. These are actually the only two queen sheets, but we have a lot of unknown that don't say the size. So we'll start here. And uh, I don't actually, like I'm already having that second guessing, like why are we filming this? Why did I buy a return box of bedding and why are we gonna put it all on a bed? But like, you know what? I'm not gonna second guess it. I'm just gonna let it, I'm just gonna let it happen. Let's just do it. We'll start here. We need to have our judging systems ready because <laughs> that's important. This one has some water damage on the outside. Something spilled on this one. Two seconds later. I'm good at testing the sheets out. See if the sheets are comfortable enough for a nap. I'm the sheet tester. Okay, here is the water damage. I'm wondering if that's on just the outside package or if that's gonna be on the inside. I suspect- Oh, it's on the inside. Well, I suspect something spilled on here because like no one who took the sheet out could get it back in so nice. Yeah, I think the spill happened after the return. Or maybe they spilled coffee on it leaving the store and then they just returned it. Character <laughs> development. All these possibilities of what the journey of this sheet. Oh yeah, this was never opened. The spillage happened long ago. Oh, it smells so bad. Oh, Ooh. was it Ooh. milk? Ah, it was a baby bottle. <laughs> <laughs> the stain is right here. The stain has made it smell bad. That gets a six out of 10. Okay, next, this is another fitted sheet. Only a sheet in a beautiful cranberry color. <laughs> Tough day at work. Right? I feel like this is what people do who work at hotels. Oh, they get day. good at making beds. Okay, okay, red. <laughs> it's very bold. This one doesn't smell bad. No. So what, 10 out of 10? Well, I don't know what, there's nothing wrong with it. If anyone's wondering what we mean by you can't tell the size, there is no size guide anywhere on the packaging for these. So we don't know if it's a double, a king, a queen, whatever, we don't know. Now this is a queen, but we'll just see. We'll just try and fit some on. The sooner I can get this light blue out of my life, the sooner I'll, like, I don't like the looks of this. Taped together like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I don't, that. I'm scared. Oh, what does that bag say? Oh, what does this bag say? Queen! See, like, scared of this. Mm -hmm. I mean, returning bedding, what were we expecting? You know? Oh, it's a, it's a full set, pillowcases and all. I think this might be the side. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. So if you go with, yes, there you go. Hang on. No, okay, have me your corner. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> okay, there. There we go, that's right. Yeah. This is a nice sheet, actually. This sheet is working. It's soft. 
Yeah, this is pretty. This is pretty. Okay, bloob. These Stop. have definitely been the softest sheets we've put on That's out a nice of set. the two sheets we've put on. It's <laughs> a nice set. That is a nice set. I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> what does that tag say? Does it say anything? Let's see. Um, 100% cotton. Standard. <laughs> It's a standard. I don't know what that means. This would definitely be a nice flat piece of fabric. You could make something nice with it. What? Is this not the same thing? I think it is the same thing. Oh my gosh, this is the same. We're not putting this on. Are those pillowcases? Yeah. Hand them to me. <gasps> Hang on! <gasps> is that the fitted <laughs> I think so. <laughs> That's what happens. Wait, Wait, there's two. There's two. <gasps> oh, so you've got two complete sets here. Oh my gosh, that makes a lot of sense actually. This is riveting stuff, people. This is riveting stuff. <laughs> These look good, because look at how the thick elastic. These are good. Okay, we'll put one on. Okay, here's hoping that it's the right size. I think it's a double. I think you're right. It's a double. It's a double. Okay. Please. I'm most excited about this one. I have a feeling it's a double. It like looks small. It might be a twin because usually the fun patterns are twins because it's for kids. And kids know what's up. It is only one pillowcase. Oh, oh my God. God. Come on, like you mean it. No. It's a double. Darn it. It's so pretty. Okay, well, let's put this on. We love making beds. These are cute pillowcases. Oh my gosh, look how nice. Love it. 10 out of 10? Uh, yeah, 10 out of 10. This one is just a fitted sheet in this navy and it looks very worn. Oh yeah, this is a queen. Scared of it though. Yeah. Scared of the foundation on it. it definitely has had a body in it. <laughs> <laughs> definitely was a body in that. <laughs> I sense a body. You can always kind of tell when like it's a double. Yes, we're <laughs> my thumbs are breaking. I just want to bring to the attention this luxurious add-on of these pillows and blanket. <laughs> it's making me want to crawl in. <laughs> like that is a non-inviting. That bed looks cold. It feels like like cardboardy. I would return these two. <laughs> like I feel as stiff as a board. I would have returned these two because they look okay, but mm -hmm. then the feeling is dauntingly bad. It's a lot! You'd wake up all scratched up. <laughs> <laughs> the mystery sheet was a twin. Yeah. Okay, this one's promising. Oh, and this one is definitely a queen. Queen. It's a nice color. It is nice. Okay, it's working. It's working. The bed's working it. Work it. Work it. Work it. Work it. Work it. Like you mean it. <laughs> We're having a great time just making copious amounts of beds. <laughs> Next we have all the sheets that we know won't fit on this bed, so it's not really worth trying to put them on. <laughs> So we will just lay them out and admire them. These all look pretty good though. I'm inspecting lightly. I'm not seeing anything alarming. I'm smelling. It just smells a little dusty. Just a little dusty. Honestly, out of all of the sheets that we tried, to only have seven that we can't try on is pretty good. Yeah. These are the ones that we're disappointed about because these hockey ones, if they fit, that would have been pretty fun, to be honest. Comment down below if you have gray sheets on your bed right now. <laughs> Comment down below if you've never looked at thread count in your life. I'll be commenting down below. Okay, next we have a pillow party. <laughs> <laughs> Can you resist this? <laughs> to whoever bought and returned this, I really hope you're doing well. <laughs> That isn't actually too bad. I hate. I don't like the pattern. That print. Mm -hmm. Bad fabric. Bad! Oh, and this pillow was also returned, but it doesn't even look like a new pillow. I swear if I saw this pillow, I would think it was like a vintage pillow. <laughs> you walk into a house and they have these two pillows. <laughs> I'm at a very fun house. All three of us will just lay here. You, me, and... I don't feel like this should... It doesn't smell like that. It doesn't smell bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my 
did you do today? Oh, I tested pillows and bedding. <laughs> this pillow, though? <laughs> I feel like if it didn't have the hashtag and the smiley face at the end, it would make more sense. Yeah, just happy place. Yeah, like the hashtag and the smiley face makes me feel really weird about it. <laughs> And then we have this classic, classic, <laughs> timeless gray <laughs> pillowcase. Everybody needs it. Our pillow party is done. Did I mention in our pillow party that we also have this pillow? Don't even try to tell me this wasn't the part you were most excited about. Like, let's be honest, anytime we're shopping at like a grocery store, we gotta pop into the comforter sets just to check. Let's start with this navy blue five-piece comforter set. This comes with two pillow shams. I was waiting to see how long it would take till we had shams. To come up. <laughs> so this is fully loaded. Oh, you can do white or navy. <laughs> That's nice. Iconic. Very nice, like quality-wise feeling. Okay, here is the first comforter set already. This is looking very fresh. I'm liking it. The quality is good. The pillows are nice. And I mean, it's like a one-stop shop. You know, you need bedding, you get a comfort set. You're set. That this is reversible. And I almost like this side even more. It's almost a little bit boho on this side. You can also change up the pillows, flip it around. This is a nice set. And for $8, like that's what this would have been, $8. That's a steal. We're stealing today, people. Here we have a three piece set. No fun throw pillows, which makes me cry. But I've got terrible, terrible, aggressive, sad news. And that is there is a small little hole. I don't think it would get in the way of your sleeping experience. I would say that this is the way to make gray sheets make sense. Like if you had yeah. gray sheets and then this, this is a nice feeling blanket. I'm actually like eyeing it up a little bit because it's just so nice and light and airy. Mm-hmm. It's one of those blankets that's like I'm covered but I'm not going to be too hot and it's not heavy over me. Love it. Yeah. Hi. Oh, he's Hi. like, I'm always game to have a nap with you guys. I think the last time I tested bedding, Chip was a baby trying Aww. it out. He said I'm sassy in my sweater. <laughs> I like to lay up here. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> you got great comfortable here, didn't you? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, the baby likes this one. Oh yeah, he does. I don't I don't want to be intense or rude or anything, but like this never should have been produced. <laughs> I I'm all for white bedding, like that's fine. I'm all for quilts. You guys know I love quilts, but this looks like a diaper. <laughs> Let's just talk about this Kay. because this yeah. is uh, a moment in time because you literally have I this. had this and it was in sun-dried tomato and gold. It was like very royal feeling. Yeah, I remember these colors. The whole house was this color. I had a wall painted this color. Like I remember this and I remember thinking like you had it going on. <laughs> and it had like 15 pillows on it all matching. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. There we go. Oh my gosh. It's a, it's a vision in burgundy sun-dried tomato. Honestly, feeling-wise, usually these feel worse. Mm -hmm. Like, yours had a lot of texture on the outside because it had tassels and things. Yeah, but the inside is nice and soft on this one, though. It's surprisingly nice. <laughs> Welcome to Battle of the Blankets. We're gonna test two of the heated blankets. If we have any more discrepancies, we'll test more. But if these two work, since they're all like closed up, I think we'll be fine with them. I know sometimes we test every single thing, <laughs> but I feel really confident about these heated blankets, but we'll see. So we're gonna do Battle of the Blankets and how that works is I'm gonna plug mine in, mom's gonna plug hers in, we're gonna be under them. And as soon as they start to get hot, that person's the winner. Okay. And no faking it. Mia, mine's not hot yet. We'll be like two hours laying here. Do you <laughs> feel anything? Hot. Oh my gosh, I love Ooh. these. These are cute though. I love the color. I love the... I like the color too. Yeah, and this. Fuzziness. Did you turn on already? Oh, you cheater! No, it's not on. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay. Okay. The way I am vibing right now. <laughs> after getting no sleep last night, 
I'm I would eating. sleep like a rock right now. Oh, you have a pillow. Uh, oh, yes, word. I need to see the pillow. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. <gasps> Mine is warming up. Really? You're probably just emitting heat. I think there. I am. Yours is warming up. No, it's not. Do you even have sensors? Wait a minute. I can feel one of the coils heating up. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is what we need. Should I set my timer for five minutes? No. Set it for 30. <laughs> hey Siri, can you set the timer for 30 minutes? <laughs> she didn't hear me. Hey Siri, can you set the timer for 30 minutes? Siri only responds when you say it with a good tone. Right? She doesn't take attitude, that one. Mom, imitate what it's actually like to sleep beside you. <laughs> Why? This is it. No, is it. you're missing something. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to do it. It's hurting my throat. <laughs> I, do, I do not do that. What? What? <laughs> And then you go like this. <laughs> oh, oh no! Ah, tell me what I was imitating you so good. I the camera flew. <laughs> Things always do. Oh, yours is nice and warm too. These are great. I am 100% giving these as gifts at like any sort of work function Stuart has. I don't care. I'm gonna be like, you get a heated blanket, you get a heated blanket. <laughs> heated blankets for everybody. Just oh kidding, my gosh. we'll donate the majority. Like I've used them in a tent before. Glamping. I am. I'm so hot right now. I'm melting. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Two seconds later. <laughs> it's time to get up. What's that sound? Where am I? <laughs> Literally, you every morning. Well, well, I love these. These heated blankets are awesome. If you are a cold person, try a heated blanket. I know they sound kind of scary, but trust me, they're not like how they were made in the 90s. We had a heated blanket <laughs> in the 90s and they never shut off and they were got super, super hot. But these are like regulated a lot better. Like I would trust these. Because it turns off on its own too. Like I think that in itself. That's iconic. Yeah. <laughs> We have fleece as clothes section. This is so cute. I don't care. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, no, my giant head. <laughs> no! Oh my gosh. Are you living? This is lovely. <laughs> Chip, come here. Chippy! Maybe I'll put this on Chip. <gasps> oh no. No, what? <laughs> oh no. Like it has <laughs> smell the armpits. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chip, my head's too big for this, so okay. maybe you want to try it on. Oh, yeah, 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 so yeah, kind of <laughs> Why is he holding it so well? He's not moving. <laughs> Mia, he's frozen. Get it? He is frozen. He's frozen. He loves it. He's actually liking it, I Aww, think. Aw, he's tired today. He is tired. He likes it. He literally is he late? Oh my gosh. He likes Hello, it. can I just fall asleep in here? Put please? it down. He likes that. He loves being warm. You guys, Chip honestly is the type of dog that likes being covered in blankets. Okay, you guys, so now. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say we're done, but there's three comforters and duvet covers. We have the duvet covers, the comforters, and then we have a mattress topper, and then we should be good. We do actually have like those like bed skirts, but we're not gonna do it because both of our backs are hurting, and to lift the mattress like five times wouldn't be cute for us. So we'll do this stuff. I have a theory on this. Do you? I think this is a camping blanket because it feels oh. like it's insulating, you know, oh. like for in a tent or a sleeping Maybe. bag. It feels very much an outdoor blanket. Interesting. All right, next. This one definitely would have enticed me in a store. Like this one's like fluffy looking. Let me feel the shed test. Oh, not bad.
bad. Not bad. Getting... Smells like a soccer field. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cute enough pattern. Oh, there's holes in oh, it. Oh, yes. Not well made. This looks like a dog might have took to this because there's like a bunch of little holes, kind of like claw marks. Another beautiful, stunning gray. My question is for people who use gray sheets or gray bedding, what's the reason? What is the reason? Because I've never been a lover of gray. So what is it? Is it just because it's neutral and like goes with everything? Actually, wait, that's probably what it was. <laughs> Two things that we thought were sheets are actually duvet sets. I have a good way to do this. I know, you grab your little corners. No. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. It's so nice and thin. It's nice. It is nice. Okay, work. I'm not hating that. No, I like it. I actually am impressed. Mm -hmm. Just fine. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I don't sorry know not to go sorry. Away. She's like, sorry. And like, that was the most insincere. Insincere. <laughs> I'm known for being insincere. <laughs> It flows nice. It is cute, actually. Not hating it. It's, it's comfy. comfy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what? If you had to pick between this duvet and the last one, what would you pick? I don't even remember the last one. <laughs> okay, this, by the way, was $197.99. Eight bucks we paid. This is the show-stopping moment. Once it comes out of this box, it's, it's never, never going back down. in. Never going down, and I never say never, but that's <laughs> what <laughs> I like. <laughs> If you've never bought foam before, you're not gonna fully grasp how good of a deal this is. Buying foam, even for like DIY projects, so expensive. Like I mm -hmm. bought four big pieces of foam for the Sprinter uh, van conversion we did, and it was like nearly $200 just for those little pieces. So to get a mattress like this, it's already a better deal to get like a big one like this. But then again, when it's been returned, like $8 for this much foam is unheard of. Look at this foam, you guys. I love the way foam looks too. It looks like a marshmallow. Loving it. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was the last piece, but I thought it would be fun for each of us to get a chance to use all of the items that we unboxed to make one bed up. And then you guys can vote whose bed was better, mine or my mom's. So you can use anything that we got do your bed up nice, hey. and you have only 10 minutes, because I know you will literally take so long if I don't give you a time limit. Okay, so here's what I chose. I love it. I would be quite happy to display this in my home. I just think it's really fun and cute and nice and comfy and inviting. <laughs> Voila! There you go. Good night. Sleep tight. Here's my bed. Now this isn't my personal style. I was using strategy. I was trying to appeal to the masses by not doing anything too crazy. I don't know what my mom did because I didn't want to see it because I didn't want it to throw it off. But um, hope I can get your vote secured. Uh, would you sleep in this? Think about that when you're voting. Oh my gosh, there is so much cleaning up and organizing, sorting, figuring out what's donate, what's keep to be done, but I'm gonna save that for tomorrow because I'm a little bit exhausted. There was definitely some standout winning pieces that I was like, this was only $8 in this return box. One being that navy stripe comforter set, the foamy, those tie-dye sheets. Those are like the ones that stand out in my mind. And standing out in my mind to make a dress is probably those light blue sheets or the tie-dye sheets. So if you see any fabric that you'd like me to try to make something with on the sewing machine, make sure to let me know down below. But yeah, I think this was kind of random. It was definitely a success and fun in my opinion. Let me know down below if you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see any other return boxes, even if it's obscure, like even if it's weird stuff. Like let's just try every return box, okay? Let's just do 
it. But yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye!